Hello, I'm Andy Walters, Chief Executive of Cortex Holdings. This short video accompanies the trading statement we released today, and it gives a quick overview of how the company has done during the COVID-19 pandemic. In an RNS back in April, we considered that new business could remain at a low level until September, and that following that, it could take up to 18 months to recover to the level seen in 2019. But the actual impact has been far less severe than that so far. This graph shows new customer acquisition up until January of this year, in that month, we reached a peak of just over 500 new customers. We then saw a steep fall from February to April during the lockdown period to a level not seen since 2017. The recovery from that point, however, has been much stronger than we'd expected. Here's the growth through to September. Our sales and marketing teams are doing everything we can to improve on this in the final quarter. This graph shows new vehicle subscriptions on a cumulative basis last year in 2019. By September last year, they'd reached 33,000, and the green line shows the progress we were making at the start of this year before COVID. And then it shows its impact in April. We were 14% down on last year by the mid-year point. But since then, each month has been slightly better than the equivalent month in 2019, reducing the deficit to 8% at the end of September. A similar trend can be seen in the value of our subscription base. Strong growth at the start of the year, followed by a slight drop in April and rising to 21.9 million by the end of September. That's a rise of 1.4 million or 1.1 million when expressed in constant currency terms. Attrition has not been as harsh as we had anticipated and we'll be able to give a much better picture of that when we release our full year results. The number of vehicles in the base has increased by 17,000 and there has been a gain of 2,000 customers over the first nine months. This following slide shows a quick roundup of growth by territory. We've made an encouraging start in our new markets and will continue to invest there as we will in our existing markets. As expected, our insurance business was hit hard by the pandemic. The insurance telematics market depends on newly qualified car owners buying their first car, but tests stopped for four months and they've been limited ever since. And of course, fewer people have needed to travel to work. This is how new installations have looked this year. The level has stabilised a bit, but it's important to stress that insurance only represents 16% of our revenue. In summary, the business has traded reasonably well through the first effects of the pandemic, and we've made a very successful transition to home-based working with improved efficiencies in some areas. We're confident of meeting market expectations for revenue and cash flow, and now we expect that adjusted EBITDA will be around 15% ahead of the consensus forecast. We'll continue to invest in growth and look forward to catching up with investors when we present our results for 2020. Thank you very much for your time.